This morning at the southern border, more than 15,000 migrant children are in federal custody. Today's inflation news sent stocks tumbling. If the prices continue to stay high at the pump, he might even have to find a new job. Under President Biden, we have gone from America first to America last. After 100 days in office, it's clear President Biden is seeking to reshape America through a radical socialist agenda. We're seeing it play out before our very eyes. Democrats have proposed $6 trillion in spending aimed at fundamentally changing America. We are paving a path of government intrusion in our everyday lives. All that money will come directly from you, the American people, through tax increases. And the growing national debt diminishes America's promise for future generations. We see it in the numbers. Across the country, inflation is on the rise. Americans and small businesses are suffering. President Biden's policies caused a jump in the consumer price index, which spiked 4.2%, the largest increase since 2008. The cost of everyday goods and services are higher. In fact, food is up 2.4% and used cars are up 10%. This path is unsustainable, and this problem could have been avoided. We need to fully reopen our economy, get Americans back to work, and allow our businesses, families, and economy to thrive. In Biden's America, we've gone from a domestic energy boom to a bust. America's gas prices and shortages are skyrocketing. We've seen gas stations with pumps shut off and Americans waiting in never-ending lines, desperate to add even the smallest bit of gas to their empty tank. And what does President Biden do? He continues his war against America's energy producers. First, he killed the Keystone XL pipeline and thousands of jobs that came with it. Then, he banned oil and gas leasing on federal lands. These actions jeopardize our energy independence, limit your ability to access affordable and reliable energy, cost good paying jobs, and put our national security at risk. This administration has broken its promises. They bowed to teachers unions and they failed to follow the science when it mattered most and with our kids. The majority of America's schools are still not fully reopened and the consequences aren't just going to be felt for this year, they're going to be felt for a generation. And it's past time to open our classrooms and prioritize the children who are most at risk of being left behind. And I also want to remind folks that we should never forget whose party chose unions over our kids. President Biden also created disorder at our southern border on day one of his presidency by proposing amnesty, weakening interior enforcement, and rolling back border security. His open border policies have created the worst humanitarian and national security crisis at our southern border in decades. In April, the Border Patrol apprehended the largest number of illegal immigrants in 20 years. American families want good jobs kids in school full-time, and low taxes. You won't get that under Joe Biden. Republicans promise to fight Democrats' socialist agenda and protect our cherished freedoms.